In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get choice column values from Dataverse into Power Automate. All right, let's jump right in into the workflow. So the first connector that you will need is the HTTP with intro ID. Just make sure you get the pre-authorized version. And then we are going to invoke an HTTP request. You might be, not be able to see this, but you would need to create a new connection. Uh, it's just that because we're talking to Dataverse on the back end, we would need to change the base resource URL. Resource URL would be the environment URL. You can get that by going to the Power Platform Admin Center, click on the environment and select your environment and then copy this over. Another way to get it is to open a model driven app in the same environment and just copy that. Just make sure you remove the slash at the end already and then click sign in. After you're all signed in, we are going to use the get method and the URL of the request is going to be two different ones. So right over here, this would be the template. So I would just copy everything here and then this is the entity name. To get that, you would have to go to your Dataverse solution and click on your table. So this would be the entity name that we are looking for. And then the logical name of the column would be if we expand on the table, expand on the columns as well, select the column and then go to the advanced options here. Copy this. If your column is a multi-select choice column, you would have to add in multi-select here right before the pick list attribute metadata. So just for this demo purposes, these are the logical names of the columns, these are the local choice columns, and then we have the global choice columns. So if we take a look at it here, if it's a global choice column, there'll be choices. So these are the two choices. And then right after the HTTP call, I decided to add in a select so we can see which label has which values here. To take a look at the code view, it would be from the body of the previous one, and then diving into the option set object, Within the object, we're looking for the options. And the label would be the first array of the label object inside of localized labels. And then would be the label name over here. So the value would just be inside of whatever this array is. So all of the select right after it would be all the same, except that the from would be a little bit different depending on which uh, HTTP it's calling from. After all the select, I am going to list row to my selected table. I am going to grab the top five rows of data. Now we are going to test it. To take a look at all of the select, this would be it. And then looking at this row, we can see that the multi-select column comes back as a string divided by commas. If it is a single select column, it will come back as a numeric value. We are going to add a row. Dataverse table is called plants. And for this, I am going to name Daisy. We are going to show, and this is a multi-select column. It will not let me select more than one using the UI here. So what we're going to do is create a action right above it. We are going to create a compose and then we are just going to create the whole thing ourselves. Alrighty, for the leaf color, I am going to enter a custom value. So it would be this question mark. Okay. And the next one we're going to do is human benefits. Copy that. Okay, it says that it is successful. And then we are going to go to model driven app and there it is. We have it. We got daisies here. I didn't put this column, but the rest of it, it's here. And there you have it. I hope this video is helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to follow for more updates.